What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, ESOS Reacts. It's AJ here. Thanks for coming on through for another Tower of God chapter. You're here for episode 115 of season 3. Thanks for coming on through. So, uh, coming off of last week's kind of crazy reveal at the end, we got the whole uh, Leviathan coming through, coming out of Suspendium. Um, and then Bam saying, I'm not going to let you borrow. I'm not going to borrow your power. I'm going to take it. So, I, I wonder what it is really that, like, that is this like, this feels like a primal fear that Bam's kind of fe feeling from this thing. Um, I wonder if this is one of those, like, creatures in the tower that, that can pose a real threat to something like an irregular. So, I hope we really get more on this thing, get full flesh out. Uh, maybe even get a little bit more about Tremoray and what's going on. Um, and maybe a little bit of dialogue from him about the Leviathan because that will really let us know something about like what we're working with here. So um, I'd really like to go ahead and, uh, and and see a lot of that. So hopefully that's what we get today. But um, before we get into this as always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, I appreciate it all the more and it helps out the channel so much with the YouTube algorithm and everything else. Um, so appreciate everyone for doing that. And uh, without further ado, let's get into 115. So. Let's see. 115. All right. You don't need to lend me your power. I'm going to borrow. I'm not going to borrow your power, but I'll be taking it. Give me that dangerous power of yours. And the thing said, say what? Don't be ridiculous. You don't know your place. How dare you say you will overwhelm me? Even Tremorant gave up taming me. I wonder what the, the reason is for that. That Tremorant, who seems to be able to have control over all these things, can't can't control this thing. I also wonder how that came around in like someone like Wang, uh, Wang Wang too. But uh, anyways, uh, Vicente, is it possible to maintain the ceiling circle and move it with that monster inside me? What? It's possible, but it's too dangerous. It's all right. We don't have much time. Hurry. All right. So we, to maintain the seal, the ceiling circle and move it with that monster inside of me. So they're going to plant this sealed monster inside of Bam? Coon, can you help me out with your lighthouse? Oh, uh, okay. But what are you trying to do? Right now, I'm going to put that monster inside me. Oof. Oh, it opened up its fangs too? Yeah, this thing looks a little vicious. All right, 52nd floor, defensive battle, part three. Yama and Doomside? Huh. Okay. Did Josh know about the Leviathan? I feel like he has to. All right. So actually, it's kind of kind of. I, I actually kind of thought that we would go back to uh, Yama and Doom right after uh, the ya not not Yama and Doom. Um, well, yes, but Yasracha versus Yama, um, especially right after getting their father's flashback. But um, I mean, hey, better late than never, I guess. It just would have flowed better for me. All right, so following up with them. They're attacking each other. I guess Yasrach is attacking and Yama's defending. You've overcome your fear, says Yasracha. But do you think you lost in the last battle only because of your fear towards me? All right. So he grabbed Yama's arm. This is what I just do. This is, there's just a big difference between our abilities, says Yasracha. All right, so he's, he's sock Yama. I really want to know what Yasracha's angle is here. Like, is it like, yes, I'm trying to get you out of here because of the respect he had for Wang Wang, you know? Because he has been looking out for them in some, like, weird way, shape, or form. Um, but, like, now, but like now, like, is he really trying to kill Yama? Or is he trying to sort of create Yama to be similar like his dad? You know, someone who's not, who can't be uh, dominated. Someone who can't be controlled by fear. I almost wonder if that's something that what he's kind of trying to do. Um, but let's see. Let's keep going. 
Alright, so Doom's coming up behind him. That's Racha. I understand that you wanted to divert my attention from your little brother, but attacking you from the back while barking loudly is too amateurish. Alright, so he just waved down at Yama, at, uh, at, sorry, not Yama, Doom, sent him flying down. I clearly told you two to live quietly in hiding. The reason why you two could overcome your fear and get this far is because you are ignorant to know how fearful you should be. You know nothing about the leader of the Lopobia family, Tremere, one of the ten great family leaders. He doesn't consider us as the same beings as him, but your father raised false hopes about him, which led everyone to destruction. To him, we're nothing but mere creatures, you know. Your father made the wrong choice. No, I know it. My father wasn't wrong. What? Okay, Yama. I understand you're going to bat for your dad, but I'm not convinced. It's you and that family leader who are wrong. From what my father gave me, I could see his beliefs in love. And the things he tried to pass on to me have reached me. Now I'll strike them down on you. Oh, his pocket's coming up. Army Corps Commander, what's the matter? It seems the game of the Cat Tower is over. The restrictions that the administrator placed on the prison are, on the prison are, gone, are gone too. Really? It's faster than I thought. And there was a suspicious warp reaction inside the Cat Tower. Warp reaction? And now he's thinking to himself, can it be? Teleport me out and turn on the ceiling device as planned. What ceiling device? Yes, sir. Okay, so he left. What the? That bastard's leaving alone? Okay, so him and his cat teleported out. All these ships are pointing at where they were fighting. Hey, stop right there. Why do you keep running away? Oh, and they're trying to seal them in there? What is this now? It's a strong sealing device that only Jihad's army has. Since it takes maximum power to hold you up, the device will last for just a few minutes, but until then, it'll be difficult to come out, even for you. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if this is something similar to, um, um, like an opera. Uh, one of the lighthouses, you know, even Uruk said, if you're going to even try to slow me down with the lighthouse, you need at least an opera to do that. Still waiting to see one of those, by the way. Um, I don't know if we have. I think we've met an opera user. I don't know if we've met, I don't know if we've seen an opera. Anyways, so just stay in there quietly. Excuse me. All right. So uh, Yasuatra goes off. What about the cat tower? It will be exploded soon. It will be exploded soon. Great. Um, all right. I'll go see Army Corps Commander Liboric. If the warp device connected to the main ship was activated, things would get annoying. All right, sir. Liboric's battleship. It's too late. He's already here, bro. Tremere. He's here. I can smell a lowly and damp dog somewhere. Ooh, he smells, does he smell Yama? Oh, swoosh, what is this? What is this? Cobalt poison frog that became a deity after eating 10,000 snakes. Is this one of his animals? But it's a deity? It looks like a poison dart frog. I mean, I understand frogs are very like commonly like snake food. So I wonder if like, you know, the prey going up against it's, it's, it's sort of like predator, like, it, became a deity? I don't know. They, I'm gonna need a little something more on that one. I'm gonna need a little something more on that one. But all right, uh, Kobo, I need you to bring those things to me. Oh, you're talking about Yasracha and Yama. 
Why would he want... Does he still hold something against Josh Rocha? I mean, we never finished the flashback, so, like... What? He somehow had to get out of there and become important enough to become an Army Corps commander. All right. All right, so now we're going back to the Leviathan and Bam. Say what? You're going to put me inside you? You're out of your mind. I have the power to put everything under me. You can never control me. Let's not be afraid. Oh, this is not Bam thing. Let's not be afraid. That monster is still sealed. I must focus and take it inside me. That thing must not go out to the world. I wonder what it would do if it got loose. Alright, so he's doing something. Like, how does he know what to do? And there's like a flash and just a line? What's that? Hey, hey, turtle, what on earth's going on right now? I have no idea, too. Let's just do as Bam tells us first. Sweet fish, help Bam put that monster in him. Okay, interesting. I was told that the more I use this power, the riskier it will be for me and the people around me. Well, whatever. I enjoy taking risks anyways. All right, so Sweet Fish is coming out. I need more from the uh, Ewa family. I need a lot more from the Ewa family because just what is it like about their flame like you know like <sighs> no not not Ewa Ewa is the girl the Yeon family like I need them to come back more and, and, and uh, be a little bit more relevant because this whole flame thing needs to be explained by one of them uh, the guy who it was originally he didn't explain it well at all so let's hope especially this this effect that it ended up having with Kuhn it doesn't make any sense Now I'm going to transplant the ceiling circle into you and lock that monster up, says Vicente. Just so you know, I'm not a master of this kind of spell. Your life might be in danger if I fail. Are you sure about this? Besides, even if I succeed, you might not have enough capacity to hold such an enormous power. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's like an issue for me. He's consumed a lot, and he still seems to be able to keep doing more. Oh, that won't be a problem. I feel that I still have enough capacity. Alright, now this thing's saying, I let that kid talk to me only because I needed him. But now he is making the wrong choice, not even knowing who I am. Alright, then I would rather take over you. I am not dominated by anyone. I'm... Oh, now it's kind of shocked. What is this space? Is this really the inside of that kid? I can feel it. I am already inside. But he still has... So much space for more. Oh shit, is he just going into this void now? What is this kid? And that's the chapter. Okay. These last couple of, like, weeks of chapters have just been, like... They haven't been, like, short. But they haven't been, like, extensive. You know, I'm kind of hoping for, like, a really extensive chapter. But I feel like they might be saving that for a fleshing out of this Leviathan. I need, I need somebody to give us an explanation, whether it's Machene... Or I would prefer it to be Tremorai since he is the one who seemed to bring this thing into existence, honestly. Um, how did he create this thing? How? Um, I don't know, man. This is kind of crazy. Um, but... This was a decent chapter, actually. Um, I kind of like this one a lot more, especially a lot more than last week's. Um, we finally got more present-day Tremoray. Um, 
and this frog he's got, Kobo, right? It's kind of a raw name, it's got that Kobo blue. Um, but this frog is a deity? Like, what is this thing's ability? Like, why is it a deity? It's like, I don't get it. I, I might have to check out the blog post for that then. Um, regardless, um, it's good to see Chimray, but he's aware of Yama and Doom. Um, I wonder if he's going after Yas Roger as well, but Yas Roger seems to be making his way over to where Chimray is, even though he doesn't know he's through yet. He has an inkling, but uh, I'm sure he's going to go to confirm for himself. So, Yama might be in trouble with this frog, although I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Um, these beasts do seem to be very powerful and dangerous, but like, I'm curious to see how, how these um, Fermi Head's beasts sort of stack up to him. And then we got a little bit more of um, Yama and uh, Yasracha. I'm curious to know like why Yama feels his father was right. Um, I feel like we need to see the end of that flashback just to sort of get like an idea because it was left a little open-ended um but like what does he know that we don't because honestly to me it feels like um yama or no i'm sorry not yama uh wang wang sort of just like gave in to tremor like he didn't um he didn't really fight so, uh, it's kind of tricky, like, man, I really, tr I wouldn't say tricky, um, but I feel like I I'm missing something there, you know, um, I, I feel like we're going to have to go back and finish that up at some point. I am a little upset that SIU kind of, like, did the flashback, had two chapters, and then here we are seeing them seeing Yama and Yasrocha fighting in present time but there's still no follow-up from that flashback right all he's saying is that your father made the wrong choice but yeah but Yama doesn't feel that so like what does he know like he says he might have his memories and feelings so like what does what does he know that we don't you know because I, I don't see it um but who knows um but this whole Leviathan thing is actually getting uh, pretty interesting. Um, Bam seems like he's going to be able to successfully absorb it. Uh, I would love to them to have at least a lot more of like a dialogue before they get out of there. You know, Leviathan to let us know like who, what is it? Who is it? You know, um, is it, is it, has it existed in the tower? Uh, or is it true like what it said in the translation like last week? It said that it, it was created by Tremere, but Tremere could not dominate it. So, like, what what is this thing? Um, what's its significance as well? You know. So, I hope we get some more on that from it, from itself, Tremere, maybe even Machete. But um, yeah, I I know I said I'd hold off on this week to see what I think about the Leviathan thing and Bam getting its power. But I don't even know what this power is right now. Um, I hope it's something as simple as just not being dominated by Tremere. Or like not being affected by Tremere. Maybe that way he'll be able to like at least hold off against him. Because I hope he doesn't fight him in this arc. That would be insane if he fights Tremere. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I really don't have a concrete opinion right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just try to sit on this a little more and kind of see what, what more comes from this. At least until I know what this thing is and what it can possibly do. Because right now I haven't gotten anything on that. So I don't want to go ahead and just jump to conclusions right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sit on that. But honestly, guys, that's all I got. Um, I, I might do, if I come up with some ideas, maybe I'll drop a, uh, like a little video this week as well. Um, just to get my little thoughts out and everything. But, um, other than that, um, I will, uh, see you all for, uh, chapter 116. Take care, everybody. Peace out. And as always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I appreciate all the love and support. And, uh, take care, everybody. Peace out.